Did you know that infusible ink is actually ink? So inside this box, there's actually ink. You don't need a printer for this. And if you haven't gotten started with sublimation, infusible ink is the way to go. Hello everyone and welcome to Cricut Tea with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to use infusible ink on a Cricut wine bag. This is going to be so beginner friendly, it is going to blow your mind. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's look at materials and jump right in. The materials I'm going to use for this project include my Cricut Maker. However, you could do this project from any Cricut cutting machine. I am going to use my 9x9 Cricut Easy Press, my Cricut Easy Press mat, a lint roller, Cricut heat resistant tape, three sheets of Cricut infusible ink, a green standard grip mat, and I'm going to use two Cricut wine bags. I will also need butcher paper to protect my easy press mat and my easy press. Now, without further ado, let's go to the designbundles.net website so that I can show you the bundle that I downloaded to use with this tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the designbundles.net website. And I already purchased this bundle. It came with um 150 designs that included svgs dxf pngs and eps files now i've never used dxf or eps files but it is a good bundle it's currently six dollars and sixty cents and what i did was i scrolled down to the christmas wine glass bundle and the two files that i plan to use in this tutorial are the one that says making spirits bright. I really like that one. And I also like this one right here that says fueled by wine and Christmas cheer. So what I'm going to do is download this product and make sure that I go ahead and upload it into Cricut Design Space. So I'll show you how to do that. So what I wanna do is click on this download option I'm going to click download files and the files are separated by DXF, EPS, PNG, and SVG. I am going to download the SVG files and when I click on it, there is a file, a zip folder that is right here at the bottom left of my screen. If I click on that, it'll show me all of the files that are SVGs. I'm going to click extract all, and then I'm going to click browse. I already have a folder on my desktop that is called design bundles. So if I just navigate to my desktop, I can see that I already have a design bundles folder. And what I would need to do is create a folder within that folder for these files. Now I've already made the folder right here, it just says wine, wine mega bundle, but I'll call this one um, wine, let's, let's spell it right first, wine bag bundle two. And once I have the folder created, I'll click select folder and then I will extract it. So instead of the files just being saved in my downloads folder, they're actually saved in a folder that I know how to get back to. So now what I'm going to do is go over to Cricut Design Space and I will upload the two files that I'm going to use. I'm in Cricut Design Space and the first thing I'm going to do is grab a shape. I am going to grab a square and I will unlock it right here at the top of my screen. I'm going to change the width to five and I'm going to change the height to 10. 
Now this is being measured in inches. The next thing I'm going to do is change the color of the wine bag to white because this is a better match of the wine bag that I'm using. The next thing I'm going to do is click upload and I'm going to upload the two files that I showed you that I downloaded from Design Bundles. Now remember my files are saved in, a, in my folder that is on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is go to that file, Wine Bag Bundle 2, and there is a Christmas wine bundle right here at the top. Okay, one of the files I said I would use is the one that says Fueled by Wine and Christmas Cheer. So what I'm going to do is click on it and then just click Upload. And I am going to, I'll just go ahead and add this one now. Okay, so when it comes in, I can see that it is a layered file. How do I know it's layered? Because if I look over here at my layers panel, I can see that everything is individual. And when it's done like this, this is actually a good thing because if I want to make any changes to this, I'm not just stuck with the file in the format that it's in right now. I actually have a little bit more freedom when it's a, an, a cut file that is layered. So I actually like layered files like this okay so I am going to unlock it and I am also going to kind of just make it um, a little bit more narrow and bring it down and what I also I, I can change the colors because it is a layered file and so I definitely think I am going to do that so what I'm going to do is the words wine and cheer I am going to change those to red and fueled by Christmas. I'll keep that green. So what I'm going to do is go over here to uh, my layers panel and I am going to ungroup this. Okay, so all I do is click ungroup and let me move this over for one second. I'm going to select fueled by, okay, I only want that part. And I am going to just move it over here and I am going to change this to, let's see if I want that to be green. Okay. And I am going to take wine and, and I want to change that to red. Okay. I like it so far. And Christmas, let's have Christmas also be this green and we'll move it over here. And you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of separating. I'm adding a little bit more space in between the lines because I don't want it to be too bunched up. Okay, then I'm also going to take the word cheer and I'm going to change it to that same red. And then I can kind of look at this and see, you know, if I like it like this or if I want it to be a little bit closer. Now, if this were my wine bag, you know, this is what it would look like once I put it all together and... I think I love it. I actually do think I love it. Um, and you know, when you make yours, you can make a decision on how you want to do it. You can decide to, you know, where I have my wine, the word wine in um, red, you know, if you want to make yours in green instead, let's see how that would look. Let me go ahead and um, attach that so it doesn't come apart I'm just moving this bag over I'm going to attach this also let me just attach these individual layers just so I don't have any drama okay sometimes Cricut Design Space likes to give us drama okay leave me a comment below and let me know if you've had any drama with Cricut Design Space okay fuel by wine let's see if we want the word Christmas to be in red because maybe we do maybe we want this part to be in green let's see if we like that better Okay, let's see. Do we like it? I think I like this better. Okay, so this will definitely be a matter of, you know what I'm going to say, personal preference, okay? And so what I'm going to do now that I have um, my file the way that I want it, I'm going to move this bag out just for now. And I am going to select the red layer of fueled by i'm going to hold my shift key and i'm going to select the word christmas so i have just two layers selected and what i'm going to do is click align and what i want to do is center it horizontally okay so now i have my red uh oh let me click that let me click undo 
Okay, and let me select my two red layers again. I'm gonna hold my first layer and hold my second layer by pressing the shift key. And I actually want to go ahead and attach those two layers because those will be cut together. And then I'll do the same thing here. I will select the word wine and, and I will hold my shift key and I'll select the word cheer. And I will also align those and center them uh, horizontally and I better go ahead and attach those two and I will put that together right just like that okay so I think I like that I think it's perfectly fine just like that all right now let's upload our second file the second file is the one that said making spirits bright okay so I'm going to go back to my desktop go back to that design bundles folder go back to the wine bag bundle two go to my christmas bundle gonna open it and it was the one oh it's so many that i like this one says making spirits bright let me open that one i love it love it i know i'm gonna change it up a little bit but i love it for the most part okay i am going to add it to my canvas and once again this is a layered file i am very very impressed by this the way they um, added these files. So what I'm going to do here is also go over here to ungroup and I am going to definitely make some changes to this because I know that I want the word, uh, let me click over here. I want the word making. Let me see if I want it bigger. Let's see if I want that a little bit bigger. Now I could definitely use the Buffalo uh, check what is it called was it buffalo plaid or buffalo check um, infusible ink on this I think that will look fantastic and let's see what I want to do with the word bright um, I could make that also that buffalo check and let's see what we want to do with the spirits and I think the spirits and the stars all need to be attached so they stay together but let's move it over here and let's make this bigger. Let's also unlock the word spirits and make it a little bit longer. I like that. I really, really like it. Okay, let me move this word down and move this down. Okay, so I really, I'm in love with this. And I, let's see what I wanna do. I think I'm going to just use the Buffalo check for that. And I will do the word spirits in, I think I'm just gonna stick with the green for that, okay? So this will be green, the word spirits will be green. And then this will be in the Buffalo check pattern okay so now we have everything the way we want it i think i'm not going to um, attach making and bright because i don't want to have all that extra space on my infusible ink i'll just cut it the way i want to and i'll make sure i'm careful about how i place it down okay what i'm going to do now is go ahead and remove this rectangle i don't need it anymore this was just to help me with my spacing and what i'm going to do is just um, turn it off right here with this eye and i am ready to click make it okay so i'll have a black mat which is going to be mirrored now when you're using infusible ink everything is mirrored even though i'm going to be placing it on the mat face up it's still going to be mirrored okay so i want to mirror my black mat i'm going to mirror this red mat and i'm also going to mirror this green mat and in all honesty i'm not going to be using three mats so i know that all of this right here should be green infusible ink what i'm going to do is click here i'm going to click these three dots i'm going to click move object and i'm going to move it to my black mat 
And what I know is that I have to put my green infusible ink right there. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to click move object. I'm going to move it to the black mat and I'll just move it down here. So I'll put one line of uh, green infusible ink here. And then I can also just move this red over. I'm going to click the move object. I'm going to move this to the black mat and uh, not the spirits. <laughs> Okay, where is it? There, okay. So I know this needs to be red or buffalo check. And I, this needs to be green. This is also green. And then all of this, oh, this was red. This is should be in that buffalo check, okay? So if any of this is confusing, don't worry. It won't be once we get to using the heat press. So now what I'm going to do is click continue. Okay. And instead of having three mats, I'm, I have one mat and my um, Cricut maker will do all the cutting for me. So what I'm going to do is click the infusible ink transfer sheet and it says make sure mirror is turned on and material is inked side up. I'm going to use the the default pressure and everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. Now, before we open the box of infusible ink, it's important to remember that infusible ink is ink. And in these boxes, there are two sheets. So the number on the outside of the box lets you know how many sheets are in the box. And each of these sheets are 4.5 inches by 12 inches. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to open this box of infusible ink and I have a full infusible ink playlist on my channel so I will definitely leave it linked below this video but infusible ink is definitely the way to go if you have not started with sublimation okay so when you open the box you'll notice that the there's a bag inside the box and what is also important to know is that any infusible ink that you don't use, you're going to want to make sure that you put it back inside the bag and close it back up. So for this tutorial, I'm going to take this infusible ink out and you'll see that it, the colors do not look vibrant at all. So this looks very, very muted because the colors are heat activated. That means it has to be uh, heat it up in order for the colors to be as vibrant as they will be. So this is one sheet of infusible ink. I'm going to place this face up on my green mat. Okay, so that's one sheet. There's also butcher paper in here. I'm probably not going to use this butcher paper because I have butcher paper that I prefer to use. So I'm going to put this all back in this bag. And I'm going to just close it all back up and put it back in the box. Okay. And I'll speed the rest of this up. I'm going to get the red and then I'm going to get the buffalo check out of the box. I have all of the infusible ink on one mat. I am going to use my brayer that I did not mention during my list of materials, and I am going to just use it to smooth it down. So it's important to get a brayer. I did not feel it was important when I first got started crafting, but it's important. So you see how my infusible ink is completely flat on the mat, and it is all ready to be cut. All of my infusible ink is face up but it's also mirrored in Cricut Design Space. Now let's head on over to the Cricut Maker and let this get cut out. When I load my mat into my machine. And I am going to click the flashing C. And we'll get this cut out. Thank you. 
Now, infusible ink is unique in that it is weeded by hand. So typically with most other um, vinyls and, and things like that, you'll have to have a weeding tool, but infusible ink doesn't really work that way. So what people typically do, and sometimes this works for me, and sometimes, just to be honest, it doesn't. But I'm going to give it my good old college try. So what I'm going to do is try to get it removed this outer layer, I'm gonna to try to get this removed from the backing. You don't need to see me struggle with this. Let me kind of struggle off camera, but I need to get my fingers in between those two pieces. So let me just try to do that. And once I get a good start, I'll show you what, what that looks like. So I have a start. So what I need to do is peel away this backing but what I want to do is leave the design on the backing and just peel away everything else. So all of the inner pieces of the layers will, uh, inner, inner pieces of the letters will need to be removed, all of that. So I'm gonna get all of that removed. I'm gonna do the best, the best I can do. Okay. There are so many uses for infusible ink, so do not feel rushed or pressured to get into sublimation if you're not ready for it yet. That is completely understandable. I was almost crafting for a year before I got started with sublimation because I was afraid. Okay, so that is my word making. So it's going to look like this on the wine bag. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna get started and kinda, of, people say you kinda of roll it. If that just doesn't work for me. Maybe I'm not doing a good job of rolling it, but once I get a, a start to it, I'm, I typically do okay. Now, instead of cutting this, weeding this like this, I am going to cut this inner piece away because this can be saved for something else. So I'm just cut away the pieces that I need and save the rest. It's gonna go in that box. And the same with my green. I'll speed the rest of this up. Now the butcher paper does not have to be folded perfectly. It just has to be big enough to fit inside the bag. I am going to place the bag right here on the mat. Let's do making spirits bright first. Before I actually press this, let me say, pay attention to how dull the color looks before it is pressed. So now look at this green. It kind of looks like a mint green okay and let's see what the colors look like once it's pressed okay so i'm gonna get my first design and i am going to place it where i want it to go you want to stick it down with the sticky side down on the wine bag okay my next word was spirits I think this is going to look amazing. I can just already feel it. I can already feel it. I know I would personally love to receive a wine bag like this. Okay, so I love that. Now, what I'm going to do is place a sheet of butcher paper on top of this. The purpose of this butcher paper is to protect my heat press from getting any of the ink on the actual plate. Okay, so I'm gonna just fold it and press it. And now I'm gonna grab my Easy Press. And the recommended um, pressure is firm. Okay, it has beeped. I'm just gonna pull my Easy Press straight up. 
in order to avoid ghosting. Now, I did not do a pre-press, and I'm hoping that this still turned out very nice. But let's look first before I reveal it at the what the colors. Now, this was the green, and this was the buffalo check. Look how light it is. Let's see what it's going to look like when I reveal it right here. Let me kind of zoom you in the way I always do. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all are getting so excited. Ooh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. Let me kind of zoom me back out. Look at that. Wouldn't you love to receive this as a gift? I know I would. Now, I feel like I could have done more pressure. Right here is a little bit lighter here than it is over here. So that's the thing with an easy press. All of the pressure is dependent upon you. So I'm going to be a little more careful on my second bag. Now, the reason why I'm not placing a design on the other side, because you totally can. You can absolutely place a, you know, a second design or use the same design twice. The reason why I'm not doing that is because I'm probably going to give this as a gift and I haven't decided who I'm giving it to just yet. Okay, so now let's open the second bag. Here. All right, now I'm going to grab butcher paper to go on top. I'm going to press this with firm pressure for 60 seconds, 385 degrees. Okay, I'm going to pull this straight up. And let's see, let's peel it and reveal it. Let's see, let me come around and zoom in a little bit so we can see what we see. This is infusible ink on a Cricut wine bag. Ooh, I did not press it good right there. I'm going to try to press that again. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? I did not get good pressure right there. I want to try to press that spark again. So I'm actually glad that happened. So in case that happens to you, if this, <laughs> if this works, you'll know what to do. If it doesn't work, don't do it. So I'm worried that I don't, that I can't get it right in the exact same spot. But I want to try my best. I only want to press that bottom part. Hopefully that is good enough. I didn't do a full press. Let's try this thing again. All right, so let's start at the top. And let's look at fueled by look at that look at that look it's gorgeous okay fueled by what fueled by wine and christmas let's see cheer cheer yes okay so that is infusible ink on a Cricut wine bag. So this is what the bag looks like with a bottle of wine inside. And you already know, if you've been with me for any length of time, you already know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, I love it. I love the way this turned out. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content 
every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye!